Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> or, or is it simply that, not, that, that the Occupy Wall Street people, like us, flunked econ? No, I, listen, Bill, I have no trouble understanding what they're complaining about. Oh, did Wall you Street pass helped. econ? I was an economist for more than three years, so oh, I think so. Oh, I guess so. you did. No wonder. Yes. You're, you were probably the grad student who <sighs> flunked me in Econ 101. No, but I would have if I'd had the chance. <laughs> now, now, let me tell you what they're talking about. They're, they're complaining about the fact that Wall Street wrecked the economy three years ago, and nobody's held responsible for that. Not a single person has been indicted or convicted for destroying... 20%, 20 percent of our national net worth accumulated over the course of two centuries. They're upset about the fact that Wall Street has iron control over the economic policies of this country and that one party is a wholly owned subsidiary of Wall Street and the other party caters to them as well. That's the real truth of the matter, as you said before. And Get the and man a bongo drum. They found their <laughs> spokesman. Okay. Well, <laughs> if I take your shoes off, if, get listen. a bongo drum, forget where to go to the bathroom, and it's yours. Listen, if I am a spokesman for all the people who think that we should not have 24 million people in this country who can't find a full-time job, that we should not have 50 million people in this country who can't see a doctor when they're sick, that we shouldn't have 47 million people in this country who need government help in order to feed themselves, and we shouldn't have 15 million families who owe more on their mortgage than the value of their home? Okay, I'll be that spokesman. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, look, they're standing in the audience. Okay.